welcome back. I have my beautiful friend Michelle here and she is so nice because she's letting me practice on her to show you guys a new design. So um, I want to show you guys how to do kind of like a cherry blossom tree with a peacock design uh, which is pretty on the arm, it's pretty on the body and it's actually very pretty on the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off using my, um, the, I believe this is the mermaid, yes, mermaid arty cake. And I'm just going to load it actually with a filbert brush instead of a normal square brush. The reason being is because I'm going to do a nice round uh, head on the peacock. So I'm going to load it um, just with the, the golds and the teals and the blues because this is going to be for my peacock. So I just load it back and forth. Uh, with my round brush and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off right here on top of her uh, eyebrow right there and she's so sweet because I just painted her and she's going to let me do it again so I'm going to come around like a um, like a bowl that's why I wanted to use this this uh, round edge so I come up I'm going to apply that pressure round it out just like that and I'm going to use my tip to fill in and then making sure that the gold is on the outside I'm going to just bring it down right around her eye so I have this round and I'm going to bring it all the way around again so now what I have is the beginning of the head and this is the peacock body right inside of there so now once I have the head into place then what I'm going to do is pick up the other colors from my mermaid um, arty cake the darker colors to just add a little bit more of a feather inside of the body of, um, of my peacock. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to add some flicks right up in there just to give it a little bit of a feathered effect. And I'll come in and, and actually um, give it shape when I'm all finished. So I'm just using those darker colors to add it there. The next thing that I'm going to use, which is actually one of my favorite products, is this Wolf Skin Tone Palette. So I loaded my brush really good with some brown. What I'm going to do is because this peacock is hanging out over here, I'm just going to come across her face just like this. So I'm going to press down where I want to and lift up just so that I give it some thicker branches and some thinner ones. And I'm just expanding right off of them. So just like that. I came nice around up over her eye right inside of here. I'll extend that branch a little bit more. And then I'm going to add some more of the cherry blossoms right around the corners of her eyes and on those branches. Using my number 12 brush, which is a little bit smaller than my 3 4 brush, I'm going to also use this Tattoo Rose um, I'm going to use this Tattoo Rose Arty Cake, and I'm just going to pick up the reds and the pinks when I load it. The reds, the pinks, and the whites, right in the middle, to create my cherry blossom. So using the white on the outside, I'm just going to go in and do some cherry blossoms right um, in a few places, wherever I see fit on the branches. So I'm using the white outline, and I did one up there and one there, and I'm going to create some more around her eyes. So I'm going to reload my brush, and I'm going to create a bigger one right in the corner. I'm going to add one here, so right around there, and then in the corner of her eyes, I'm going to make a bigger one. I like to make sure that my white is staying consistent on the outsides of it and I'm going to just add another smaller one right in here right on this side if you can turn a little bit more and then right inside of here as well so I'm filling in wherever I see fit that I actually need this now, if you can turn a little bit on this side, because there's no branches, I'm going to add just a few more. Next thing that I'm going to do is just add a little bit of green right in between and right around my cherry blossoms. So I like to use this bright green. I like to use this bright lime green because it really makes the, the leaves stand out, especially because these flowers are so bright. So I just kind of dab it on the tips of it just to give it a little bit 
of a green leaf right at the edge of my cherry blossoms. If you can turn it a little bit more. And it matches her earrings, this design. So I'm just adding a little bit more right around there to really brighten up this whole design. So I'm loading it up pretty well with my Wolf Black and I'm going to just give all of my cherry blossoms a very slight outline. And I'll do the same for this one. outline your leaves as well if you want to it's really up to you more than anything else giving it this very slight outline you don't want to overpower especially with black black is one of those colors that you can overdo it in just a second so I always tell people you know if you're uncomfortable then just make sure that you're only doing a little bit at a time all right so now we're gonna switch back over to our peacock so that I can show you guys how to get the maximum facial effect from your peacock. So I'm going to start off here and I'm going to come around. So I start off here and bring it in. A, a swirl, just like that. For me, being that I'm a lefty, it would have been very hard for me to go that way. Look at the way my hand... Then what I'm going to do is right halfway in the middle of this circle, I'm going to make a loop and I'm going to make the beak coming down. So halfway through the end, then I'm going to make almost like, I, I call it a Dora eye. So what I do is I make a half circle, I bring it up, and halfway through I make my circle. It's halfway through, like right up by the eye, I'm going to start making The peacock feathers at the top. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue this line all the way down, just like that. And where I have those sharp points, I'm just going to emphasize them a little bit more using my black paint to really detail the feathers in here. So, so for one of the final steps, I'm going to go in and just give it a little bit of a white highlight where I see fit. So we're going to go and we're going to fill in the beak. So I'm going to make a little bit of a white highlight here. And I'm also going to make one along his body right in here. And on every other... feather right inside of there to just really make it stand out. I'm also going to fill in this little eye area just to make that eye stand out and I'm going to add some dots right on those top feathers right in there. So I'm going to do it in the yellow. I'm going to fill the whole thing in right in there just like that. And then just very randomly, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of a white, almost like a snow fell on these branches, just to give it a little bit of that necessary pop. And then I'm going to go back in and do the same thing with black underneath it. So I'm just going to go with my brush on the opposite side, very little black here and there just to really bring out the branches. Okay, turn for me for one second. Right inside of there. Now to finish this whole design off, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of this hot pink glitter and I'm going to put it right on the flowers because I like uh, to keep the color glitter on top of it. Then she's just so awesome. Then you can look in the mirror and say thank you for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta show them both sides. <laughs>